Hey, what's up, guys? So we had uh, breaking news. Yeah, I was about to go to sleep, and then suddenly this news breaks to say Pablo Franco has left Amazulu. Yep, he's left Amazulu, and wow, it only took three games. Three games, I think, within the, within the league for them to make their decision and say, nah. And at this current moment, as it stands, Amazulu are last place. And the the loss that they took from Maru Magellans as well, I think that would just add a salt to the wounds because you just saw Maru Magellans getting beat by Chiefs. You saw them putting a lot of goals uh, in against Mamluk Sundowns. Now, when they come up against Amazulu, Amazulu's thinking that, no, so surely we should win this one, and they were not capable of winning that one. I even stated last season as well, for me personally, Amazulu underachieved. They, they underachieved. I expected a lot better from them. I think they're only six points from relegation automatic playoffs as well. So when you see that form and what Pablo Franco has come in and done, it has not been good enough. And also the fact that, you know, when I watched the Pablo Franco side, they were good at the ball. Possession-wise, they were really good, but they were just not penetrating enough. They didn't score enough goals. I think they only had about like 24 goals in 30 league games last season. And even this season too. Good at the ball, but they didn't look like they would hurt you in, in any kind of way. You didn't necessarily seem so feared or scared or anything like that. And when Pablo Franco has come in to the league, one thing I liked about him is that he embraced um, South African football, he embraced everybody, which was like good. He seemed like a very good guy, but in terms of results, it's not, it's not, it, it was not connecting in any kind of way. And also the club, I have to say, the, for them to make it this early, still in September, guys, they didn't even wait till December. They didn't even wait till November. They were like, nah, 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 nah. We are not going to take any more because I don't think they had a lot of confidence in the fact that he would be able to turn it around. That's for sure. That to make it this early. I mean, this early for me just shows that like Amazulu were like, nah, nah, nah. We cannot take this. We can see this thing is not going to work at this current moment. And now he is gone. And I have to also say this as well. San Lizungu, a man I highly respect. A man when he talks about football, it's great to hear him talk, right? It's great to hear his ambitions and all that and what he wants to do and always gotta be in the top four and all that. It's great to hear that. But I'm just looking at the situation and ever since Benny McCarthy left that football club, there have been three coaches since 2022. We're currently sitting in 2024. So there's been three coaches. And my thing is that it's going to be hard if you're constantly making changes to get that stability. And I'm sure everybody knows that Benny McCarthy at that time should have been kept. I know people will talk about the second season, the form wasn't great, but people could argue the quality in that second season was simply not good enough because his first season, he goes to finish the second. And now in the second season, having to deal with also Calf as well was very hard for that football club to deal with. But if he just built on that, you don't know where Amazulu could have been right now. And the funny thing is, Ben McCarthy has also expressed that he, that he wouldn't mind going back into head coaching role. You know, is it his time again? Is it the time of Kanu to come in and do the things? But the only thing I would say about San Lezungu is stability, man. Stability. you got to find some sort of stability because if you're going to be changing coaches constantly, I don't know if you're going to be able to find that rhythm. And to be fair, he gave Punk, uh, Franco quite a long season as well. He gave him the whole season last season and it just didn't work out. I think find someone that you're going to believe for some time and find that stability. And also, and also, I don't know if top four is possible. I just do not know if top four is possible. So what I would suggest is let's try go a little bit lower and say top eight. Let's try to reach for top eight because I think you're good enough for top eight. But at top four, I just think the competition is rife. But I've dropped the link. Please hit the link to my show. There is a show tonight that you do not want to miss. I talk about Chiefs. I talk about Sundowns. I talk about Pirates. I talk about the MTNA final. I talk about Stellenbosch. I talk about it all. I'll see you guys later. Keep well and have a good day.